Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey. Well, here we are the day before New Year's and it's always a great blessing to be here and to be ready and prepared for a new year. There are probably still individuals who still need to give to your organization, still want to give, even in these last remaining hours. So I hope you are being ever vigilant. You may be with family celebrating as you're watching this, but make sure that you are ever vigilant in this year-end task. You will want to make sure that you are prepared, even if it's not you, one of your staff or more of your staff are prepared for individuals who want to give in these last remaining hours of the year. So I hope that you are prepared for that and, and that this is an important part of your plan for the remaining hours today. Well, let's dive into our first question for the day. Our first question today is from Steve in Wheaton, Illinois. And Steve writes, what are a few things that sh we should be doing as we move into the new year? Well, Steve, a new year always brings about exciting challenges. And I hope that 2023 is a great year for you and for your organization. I've really enjoyed over the last year all the things that we have seen happen as a result of this channel and how many people have been excited by the videos that I've produced. And so I'm just glad as you move into this first part of the new year, you need to make sure that you are hitting the ground running immediately after you get back from either your vacation or even the uh, first couple days of January. You want to hit the ground running, being prepared for those individuals who made gifts in these last few days. If you haven't been keeping up with thank you cards or notes, make sure that you get caught up as quickly as possible. Now, you're going to have some individuals who gave a gift that's postmarked on December 31st, but they actually, their gift didn't arrive until the 5th, the 7th, the 10th of, of January. So you need to make sure that you're prepared for those individuals. But also you want to look at were there some people in the month of December that gave exceptionally large gifts that we want to look, can we make phone calls to those individuals? Or in some cases, can we go and visit someone? If someone gave a gift to a project or a program that was exceptionally large and made a big difference, make sure that you look at the possibility of going to visit those individuals to share with them what the expectation is for the next year because it is so important that you focus in on the successes that you've seen in the past and mostly what you hope to see in the future make sure as you're sharing things from the past make sure you present your output which are stats and data, but your outcomes, which are stories of changed lives. And so all those kinds of things should be in your package. Now, what you also want to make sure that you're doing is you also want to make sure that you are looking out to this next year and the future. If you've got an event in the spring or in the fall, what needs to be done between now and then? If you've got some exceptionally large programs or projects that you need to focus in on, and it, there are things that your, your partners could be included on, make sure that you do that as well too. Look for opportunities for our partners to be engaged with us and to do things with us specifically. It is really, really important that you include your partners in activities and programs that you're doing and make sure that they see this as a really, really important organization to be involved in and make sure that you create for yourself a communication strategy for the year so that means newsletters and the uh if you've got a, if you've got direct mail what's included in those particular pieces and make sure that you look out to the future to see what's going to be included in those kinds of things are there things that your partners particularly would be interested in or if there are programs and strategies that you want to put before them 
make sure that you do that this year. So Steve, I hope that helped with your question. I just appreciate all of you so much. I just appreciated this last year with you. It's gone by so quickly. It seems like it was just yesterday that it was December 31st of 2021. But here we are heading into 2023 and I hope this is a great year. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and click the all bell to be included in on future videos. And if you aren't part of our Life Changer community on Facebook, please go out and do that. You can reach me on Instagram at Jim W. Dempsey. You can also ask questions at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase income and reach the goal of being fully funded in 2023. See you in the next video. Take care.